Other news of the day to get to right now. Yes, yeah, Saturday will mark 20 years since the September 11th terrorist attacks. Marking that anniversary, the Tunnel to Towers Foundation bringing back its Tower of Light tributes to the Pentagon and the Flight 93 Memorial in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. The light will beam up from the Pentagon grounds beginning tonight. It will be illuminated each night until the early morning hours of September 12th. Let's talk about the tribute with spokesperson for the Stephen Silver Tunnels to Tower Foundation, Gerard Nicholson, joining us right now here on Fox 5. I saw the test of those lights last night, and just like last year, Gerard, I mean, it was so impressive to see those beams shining up from, from the Pentagon. Uh, why is Tunnel to Towers embarking on doing this once again this year? Yes, first I'd like to say that it's my honor to be here today representing the Tunnel to Towers. And the towers represent all those who gave their lives that day, the ultimate sacrifice. We, rem we want to remember not only them, but also their families. We want future generations to remember that when they look up into the light, they will look and say, what happened that day? And we will have people there to tell them of all the heroes who left, lost their lives that day. And Gerard, officially, you will light these sites starting tomorrow. That'll run through the 11th into the 12th. You know, I know I can speak for Jim and I. For both of us, that day is very much ingrained in our memory and who we are. But there is now a generation, 18, 19, 20 years old, who weren't here, right. who are just or, or barely have memory of what happened. What is the legacy now that you hope through this foundation to put on those now teenagers and young adults who don't remember the day? Well, that's really what the Tunnel to Tower is all about. We make a promise to never forget. Never forget those families that were lost. And we pay off the mortgage of every first responder killed in the line of duty, every military member who goes to serve our country who is killed or injured catastrophically. We make a promise to never forget, and we will pay that mortgage off for all our military members. I know that was something that uh, was a main priority for Tunnel to Towers over the last couple of years, but I, I, let me just talk to you about, or l let's talk about your personal connection here. Uh, we know that Frank Siller, just uh, a few weeks ago, was here in D.C. starting this epic walk all the way from D.C. all the way to the World Trade Center. Uh, he does this in honor of his late brother, Stephen. You know, you knew Stephen. Yes, I, I knew Stephen very well. He's my best friend. I was in my bridal, he was in my bridal party and I was in his. He, uh, he had a great sense of humor, tremendous personality. But on a day, if I could tell you really quick, on a day of September 11th, he heard on his scanner that a uh, plane had just crashed into the towers. On his way home, he was going to go golfing with his brothers that day. He stopped, ran back to rescue two, grabbed 60 pounds of gear, and went into the tunnel. It's the Brooklyn Battery Tunnel, mm -hmm. which connects Brooklyn into Manhattan. It was closed that day. He got out on foot, ran three miles into the South Tower, and he never came out. Uh, Gerard, we know that you were working on that day as well in New York City as one of the, the finest there in New York for the NYPD. We wish you best of luck. And for people who are listening to us now, just recap one more time where they can see the lights and from when to when. They can see the lights here today at the Pentagon starting tonight till September 12th. All right, and that'll start, of course, at dark. We will be watching and, again, remembering yeah. 20 years now. And if, now. I, if I could just say, if Go I ahead. have just a minute to say, we were not defeated that day on 9-11. Tunnel to Towers ensures that we were not defeated at World Trade Center. We were not defeated with Todd Beamer took down the plane, mm -hmm. and he didn't let the plane hit its attack right there in, in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. And after the attack here at the Pentagon right behind me, we saw heroic bravery of all the civil service, the members of the military who ran into action to render aid, as so many have done. And what Tunnel to Towers does and what you do and what Frank Stiller does and what everybody does is really encapsulate how we were as a people on September 12, 2001, because we often we know where we were September 11th. I think we often forget where we were and what we were doing on September 12th when we all really pulled together. So thank you very much, Gerard. We appreciate it. And thanks for doing what you do. And thank you. May we never forget. No doubt. Thank you.